Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy Part 20. We are working on Sorona Ryan's side quest. Uh, we're just going to zip right over here real quick. Rebellion. Uh, looks like there's a camp here. Um, well, since we're here, let's take out this camp quick. Thinking in terms of good and evil merely indicates a limited imagination, in my opinion. Indubitably, Ashwinder Duelist. I almost captured a Graphorn in the <laughs> You can't see me. <laughs> huh. Huh. Thought I saw something. Huh. Thought I saw something. Big level up. See if I can sneak behind this guy. Looks like we can. I am the stealthiest. Let's go. Oh, poacher in the wizarding world. All right, that was a that was worth Rebellion. it. Just to just to I mean I don't know if it's worth it or not, but I mean we did the thing. I don't know. I don't even know how to use those yet. So <laughs> maybe it wasn't worth it. Who knows? Now, if I look at the map. Will that show? Okay, so it will show that. The, okay, so so we can check those off. I thought so, but I wasn't super sh sure. Again, not really sure why that happens. This must be the cavern Mrs. Bottle mentioned. Yuck. What is this game? That's gross. I wonder if whatever did that is in here. That seems like it would be bad news. I need the hall clumps to Mrs. Sprottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find Sorona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more hall clumps while I'm there. Hmm. Perhaps. Better have a look around. See about the hall clumps and the box of letters. This may be a little intense. That's all the whole clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Oh, oh, so, okay. The quest hasn't really identified the fact that I've already handed that part in. Thanks. But we'll keep looking here. Again, awful lot of, awful lot of blood down there. Seems, seems bad. Wee. Oh, dear God. What happened? <laughs> why, why, why you no jump good? What? I could have just skipped over this rock. Big time. Let's go. Gotta want it. That's My all God. All for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Yes, thank I, thanks. I already know that. Okay, so that's down there. Let's go up here first. You know, that is the first time we've, I think we've died to fall damage. I mean, we've fallen into like various abysses, abyssi, abyssi. Uh, but that's the first time we've actually hit the ground and died, I think. I'm not going to pretend that I remember every death that I have, but... Call that death by misadventure. That's why I don't free run. Anyways. Hello. Either I'll have to fight that troll. What's up? Avoid it altogether. Oh, he shifted. Oh boy, this guy's got some. This guy's got some life to him. Oh, I'd be here a while. Oh, Chris. Boy, 
my timing for things is uh, not so good right now. Yeah, let's get a chain going here so we can get our ancient magic back. This guy is no joke. He is level 26, which is weird because, again, I thought that this was like a recommended level 10 or something quest. That right in the right in the mooth. Use a mandrake against an enemy? Sure, I can do that. Oh, just wait. I think I did. No, wait, hold on. <laughs> I thought I had it equipped. I'm trying to use a mandrake. Stop hitting me. Didn't seem to work. There we go. Oh, we updated the assignment too. Let's go. His little like quick teleport to get to me is not great. There we go. All right, that could have gone better. I was trying to do some things. It was not maybe the best idea. What is that little buddy? Look at you. Revelio. All right. Dittany leaves. Anything else down here? Hold on. How did we get in here? Okay, it was that path. All right, so we gotta go this way. Thank God, that's Rebellion. not locked. Okay, hold on. I've got a bag now. How can I can I use a bag? Are you beasts? I don't know how to use the bag. No, I think you guys are just squirrels. <laughs> and like squirrels, you're not that special. Dear Serona, when I arrived here, I had a troubling sense that in many ways I wasn't like the other first years. I confess, I worried that Hogwarts might not have been the proper place for me and pondered sending an owl to my parents, asking them to fetch me almost before the first week of classes had ended. How did you know? I presume you're not secretly Allegilimens. But I wonder that you seem to know my thoughts better than I did myself. That day in the three broomsticks, when you spotted me huddled in a corner, staring blankly at an untouched butterbeer and an empty bit of parchment, my quill dripping ink woefully onto the floor, and you came to sit with me, well, I shall never forget it. I recall a sudden sense of relief, as if someone had cast a levitation charm on me. When you told me about how nervous you'd been to come to Hogwarts, I looked at you and it seemed beyond my imagination to think of you as anything but the confident, contented witch sitting before me. In the days that followed, I marveled at how you charmed, in the non-magical sense, I mean, everyone around you, without apology, embracing who you were and who they were. It was as though a candle had flickered on for me. I realized that I could choose that path as well. Now that my school years are ending, the frightened first-year witch I had been seems worlds away, and I know it's because you saw yourself in that despairing creature in the corner of the pub and so generously extended yourself to her. Yours sincerely, Mirabelle. Yes. Please tell Miss Sproddle that I still plan on visiting her and Mrs. and Mr. Sproddle whenever I can for their delightful conversation and, I'm ashamed to admit, her inc incomparable cauldron, cauldron cakes. I did so good and then it all fell apart at the end. Oh, these are all our letters. I conjured, the, uh, dear Sorona, I conjured this wee gift for you as a token of my gratitude. You hadn't stood your ground on my behalf during Quidditch practice last week. I might have left the team altogether. Now we've won the Quidditch Cup. Ravenclaw's, uh, Ravenclaw House would not be the same without you. Yours sincerely, Sean. Ravenclaw, for the win. Let's go. My dear Serona, I've sent a note separately to dear Mr. and Mrs. Sproddle for their hospitality, but felt the need to put a quill to parchment with my thanks to you as well. What a lovely respite from the castle. I won't soon forget how we giggled about that ridiculous gnome. Did he truly believe that he was singing? And Mrs. Sproddle's steak and kidney pie was simply glorious. I should be dreaming of it for days. 
I so appreciate you including me. I fear I must warn you, however, that this does not mean I will go easy on you in next week's match. You know that Ravenclaw is no match uh, at all for Slytherin this year. Most gratefully yours, Philomena. This must be Sorona's box of letters. Dear Serona, happy birthday, my darling friend. I sneaked into the kitchens and asked Finky to make your favorite cream crowdy. She was delighted to oblige. Not sure where she got raspberries at this time of year. Genius, that Finky. Bess. I should take this box of letters to Serona. Here's the last one. She'll be glad to have it back. Uh, dear Mrs. Sproddle, mother and father were delighted to hear that you and I had spent the afternoon at Gladrags last Saturday. Truth be told, I think my mother was ever so slightly envious. I shan't soon forget how heartily we laughed at my efforts to lace the bodice of my new dress. A challenge indeed as is the rather delicate practice of properly situating a hat pin without wounding either my hat or my head. But I adore everything that we selected, and I have you to thank for now feeling like a marvelously fashionable witch. It was also a treat to dine at the Three Broomsticks without having to clear the tables. I shall own a place like that one day, mark my words. I consider myself more than lucky that you and Mr. Sproddle agreed to let me stay. I know that my parents feel precisely the same way. Yours gratefully, Serona. I think that's everything. Serona will be glad to have this back. Okay. So we can just exit out into the Forbidden Forest. I see you. Revelling. And I may just zoop. I just remembered, I think I said for episode 20 I was going to do, uh, I was going to start checking off some of this stuff, but I'm not. Not yet. We'll do it at some point. I don't feel the need to do it yet. Um, mainly because there's a lot that I feel like I haven't haven't seen yet that I'm going to get to some of these places and... I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Uh... Oh, wait, where's Serona? Serona's this way. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of a wasted wasted trip, wasted effort. Still don't have my Malice Suite, which is kind of driving me nuts. I really need to go back and get that. Which, after this quest, maybe, like, after every quest, if I get some um, unidentified items, I'll just meet, here I come. go do that. Um... After every quest, I'll just go back and identify what I have. You look suspicious. Rebellion. Nice to see you, my young friend. Indubitably. We've got two markers here. Oh, that guy. That's right. I'll worry about him in a little bit. In fact, he'll probably end up being our next side quest. Okay, I walked in. I thought the place was on fire. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hall clumps for her Wigamel potion, and... I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. We could have cheered them on together. I saw a letter I wonder if we from play someone Quidditch named in the game. Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. It seems fun. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. 
To borrow a phrase from Mirabelle, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... <sighs> well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. All right. A friend indeed. Check it out the list. Um, all right. I do think our next quest is for the skeezy, skeezy bud. We get another combat reward? We did. Officer's hat. Oh, and we got a new talent point. Um, gosh, I don't know. I might just start, like, clearing these out. Just do... Actually, hold on. There was a stealth one that I wanted. In like nearby enemies. That sounds all right. Because if we can get them... Because they stand in groups. If we could be sneaky enough, that might be might be worth it. Okay. Mm we'll check the inventory and all that stuff in a little bit here. Venomous Revenge. Wait, return to Ackley Barnes. Isn't that... I didn't do anything for him, did I? Completed that errand for me? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. Huh. You're just going to give him one? I see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. Let's see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. He's going to know, right? Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, we got away with it. Oh, to see the look on Lordy's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. God, I guess I could have just done that whenever. Interesting. Oh, that was an appearance item. Uh, okay, well, that... Pff, check that right off the list. That's an easy one. Uh, the Daedalian Keys. The Daedalian Keys. Stand by the Moons. I don't know how many we have. We probably have, like, five. And that one we're still working on. Professor Onai. Okay, we were going to do this a couple episodes ago, but now we're finally going to go to divination class. But because we're looking for... Because we're looking for... Um, wait, is divination class... Oh, summoner's court match too. We could do that too. Let's Okay, let's do that first. <laughs> I'm so easily distracted, it's ridiculous. This won't take long. And then we're going to go into Hogwarts through, like, the main door. Uh, we're going to switch it over tonight and see if we can find more statues. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for someone as caught? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Akia. I... You talk about? I would love to, but I need. Yes! <laughs> there we go. I was about to say I have it here somewhere. Just let me let me grab it. What's going on with these little warbles? <laughs> I don't know. I should. I was too busy trying to figure out how to get Akio to work. Um. Akio. That's a good roll. That's a good roll. That was 
Sensational. Accio. Let's go. Okay, what all right. Was I thinking? Yeah, that was dumb. You big stupid. Um, no, let's no, do that one. Accio. All right, stay on the board. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me, none. We winning. Nuh-uh. What's that put her at? Okay. Yes! Uh, e okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. That'll put us at 90, right? Then. Big winner. Get off my wooden After your stage. Poor show against Natty and Class, I thought I could beat you. What? It appears I overestimated myself. I smoked Natty. I don't think I did. <laughs> Played well. Don't do that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good. Then you're better. Agreed. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Cool. All right, let's make it nighttime. Although, when I get to divination class, it'll have to... Uh... It'll have to... We'll have to wait for daytime again, but that's fine. So, Descendo. That pulls things down, I think? Revelio. Do, 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 do. I'm going to keep doing that because I don't have any idea how much those statues move around. Rebellion. Those doors, too. They're still, still driving me nanners. At this juncture, I feel too stupid to figure it out. Oh, yeah, let's go. Well, let's, okay, keep keep going. I know right where you're heading. Hmm. Smack. Could probably hand in the ones that we have of those two. I think we got like six in our inventory, maybe thereabouts. I've always said that travel broadens. Okay, so the it's is this really where the class is? <laughs> I know that that Onai is up here. I didn't know that her class room was up here. Revelio. Oh wait, no, this is a different place. And I'm now them guys. Yes, please. Make it daytime.
So this is our first time doing a divination thing. Divination class. I mean, those aren't tea leaves, are they? That just look like a stain in the bottom of a coffee cup. He sneezed in his cup. Beginner's luck, I say. You'll not beat me next time. Duncan owes his reputation to you. What are you talking about? Hello, Adelaide. How are you and your uncle doing? Very well, thanks to you. The more I learn about Ranrock's foul lot, the more astounded I am that my uncle survived. I looked back over his old owls and noticed that they included pertinent details about his rare metal deposits. I believe that Ranrock's fiends were after those deposits and that they needed my uncle's knowledge. He was willingly going to rot away in that cell to keep me safe. Any other pertinent details about those owls? Plenty. Uncle Roland couldn't be certain, but he thought he overheard goblins talking about infusing something into goblin silver. He wasn't sure what they meant, but something about the way they spoke of it made his skin crawl. <sighs> it's clear you saved my uncle She's from She's awkwardly a very standing on a step, and her her dress it is glitching because all, of it. Adelaide. I'm just glad your uncle's safe. So am I. Seeing him again was such a relief. I told him that he must remain vigilant from now on. I, for one, can't help but look over my shoulder now whenever I leave the castle grounds. Okay. Little, little catch-up session. I hope those assignments... I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Renoi. Very well done. I'm not even in your class. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, She's fake. as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? I see triumph. There will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. Descendo. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? You're over there. Uh, Descendo, let's put you... Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's situate here. So what, we only use... Two, well, I guess we have three now. Do that. And on this one, we'll go there. That looks all right. And then, okay, what does Descendo do? Descendo, excellent. I think you have it. Slams enemies into the ground. Okay. <laughs> Poor training dummy. Look what the hell! I was just, I was just standing here. 
Uh, let's put... Um, and we're probably fine with that still. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Okay, so that quest is, or that assignment is done. Acquire and use an invisibility potion. Acquire and use a thunderbrew potion against enemies. So, <clears throat> grow and harvest flux wheat. Okay, we let's go to the room of of requirement and see. We'll also get our Malo Sweet. Dope. Um, this isn't where I wanted to go. Hold on. <laughs> this is the map chamber. I clicked on the wrong thing. Got some things to identify. Do that real quick. Flip what's good. 21 to offense. Let's go. What does that little icon mean? Oh, is it because I changed the... Uh, maybe it's... It must be because I changed the look. Throw that on. Did I not get new face wear? No, I didn't. Okay. Good there. So let's collect the Molo Sweets. Inspect that. Empty the pot. We need to make, or we need to grow flux weed, which we need a bigger pot. Again, not sure how to do that yet. Let's grow another yield of mallow sweet. We never actually set out to make a potion. Maximum. Okay, we can, we can make invisibility. We can't make thunder brew. So let's make this. And then, shoot, what did... All right, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for that to finish and then grab it. Um... I wish this didn't have to be equipped to stuff. Uh, let's conjure... Oopsie daisy, so sorry. This is, sorry, this is my room. What else? Okay, we didn't get anything there. We don't have a hopping pot. But I know we've gotten other things, right? Am I wrong? Maybe? Maybe I'm a liar? The fall looks locked. I can dig it. I hope that potion is still being made. Good. Okay. Uh, okay, and then for the Thunder Brew, we need Shrivel Fig Fruit which I don't think we can grow. That's cool. Um, so that's good for now. We've got our invisibility potion. We can acquire and use that. Um, I don't know why. Why would we do that instead of... Hmm. 
I don't know. Why would we do that instead of doing the... Um... Instead of just doing the Invisio or whatever it's called. Alright. Start our next main quest. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. I guess it does. I was about to say, this doesn't look like fall anymore, but it is. Uh, let's put that on. Working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Hi, little buddies. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Okay, there's our item. Now, is that... Where is that? Knapsack used to rescue magical beasts. Oh, man, this one also goes to a spell set? There's too many spells! There it is. Uh, okay. I don't know if we need these or not. I feel kind of bad. He was running for his life. Rescue the beast. Look, look, look at us. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as <laughs> rescue or as kidnap. the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Okay. We'll go there next. Uh, we will... Revelio. We will fly. But first, a detour to grab this Merlin trial. Now that we have Mallow Sweet, let's go crazy. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Oh, oh. All right, so what are we doing? I'm assuming we're just taking these out, right? <laughs> Simple as that. Okay. These are not complicated. And we only need one more to get our... Uh, to get uh, more gear slots. I think. I tell you this. Hogwarts is lucky to Revelio. Yeah, you're fine, bud. Don't even, don't even worry about it. Never ends well, There's the tree. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you. What with all the poachers in the area. I can Perhaps fly. we should work quickly. 
The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deeg has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income, to be used for potion ingredients and labor, and Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts, where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. What's that? Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Okay. So I need... Let's do this. Instead of having... But Leviosa... Nope. Let's remember how to play the game. There we go. Let's put that there. Nope. That's also not where I wanted it. Uh, let's... Put that there. Let's go here. Let the Did we get it? Okay, we got it. It's not so bad. So there's 10 of those in the game, huh? Ten, I mean, 10, no, that maybe, is it, no, there must be more than that, right? That's just the first, uh, the first little challenge, maybe? That's usually how they go. I rescued a Jobinol. Deke hopes your Jobinol finds Again. the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Okay, one more. We'll walk to this one. This isn't so far. Revelio. Although I could have probably just as well, <laughs> just as well flown. There's really nothing between here and here and there. Blue flame. Off on another adventure, are we? Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, that checks out. Unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working Learn about Deke. former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. <laughs> Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. I feel bad for these little guys. What's their story? Why are they so... Why are they... Why are things like this? Alright. It is night time. Let's find some moon calves. Okay, I understand now. You got to be successful 
X number of times to capture it properly. Okay. I thought that's what was happening in the second one, but I was a little confused when it started over again. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Uh, yeah, I think we Handy can resource indeed. Your field probably guide. just go ahead. Uh, Hogwarts, secret rooms, room requirement. I'm curious how much this place changes then. I'm assuming another room gets added? There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Oh, rad. Inside the new creation. Ooh. Pretty. I was thinking it would just be like a, you know, like a, like a pen or something, but Where this looks all right. It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. Tap R1 to open the beast management menu. Oh, okay. Select a beast from the inventory to add. Beast can be rescued in the highlands. Basically a Pokemon game now. Deke thinks the Vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts. How's that, that any well different than me just being a poacher? We'll provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Okay, so all my all my guys are just they're just here. Right, materials with magical properties. Your beast feed and beast petting brushes are some of the ways to nurture your beast. Okay. Feed and brush this beast and all these magical materials will be woven into gear. Puff skeins are round and fluffy beasts, soft enough to cuddle, tough enough to be thrown around. Okay. Ew, their favorite meal favorite meal is boogies. Gross. Alright. I have some pets. Oh no! Dude, settle yourself. Sorry. I mean you know home. That's that's probably pretty annoying, eh, bud? Sorry about it. I meant to do this. <laughs> In 
have some food, then I think, I mean, I don't know. Do we have to do... Oh, we have to do this. This is still part of the main quest. Okay. We got some puff skein for... He looks so happy. There's the moon calf fur. Oh, you're you're not a beast. Okay, so we don't even have to wait. We can just uh, give it to him and go. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Should I do it here? Um, no. Exit the Vivarium. Uh, conjure an enchanted loom. I thought I... I moved everything. Uh, let's... Do this. Let's do this. Let's put this back there. Incendio. Oops, it easy. Sorry. First date. <clears throat> Chanted loom. Oh, that's kind of big. Um, put it here. Okay, add a trait to an item of clothing, upgrade an item of clothing. Gear features one primary offense and defense stat by default. Magical materials can be used with the loom to add and upgrade a secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can be rescued at beast dens or unlocked in quests. New trait recipes can be collected in bandit camps. Okay. I don't know how much I'll work with the upgrading stuff. It's it's cool, and I can I, I guarantee there's people that are gonna be kind of nuts about it, but not probably my thing. But we'll 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 play along here. Let's upgrade that. Loom for improvement. Teehee. get it. And then add a trait. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Came up nicely. I should show Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Just fishing when for I compliments. Weave even it's more embarrassing. powerful magic into my clothing with the loom. You will by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank, Thank you, Deke. for your help, Deke. Okay, so that quest is complete. So yeah, I don't, uh, in games like this, and maybe it's just me, in games like this where we're constantly getting new loot that we can equip and new stuff that we can, you know, 
you know, uses weapons and all that stuff. It it doesn't, I mean, this one doesn't really so much have weapons, but it, it, I never take time to upgrade any of my equipment because regardless of what are, whatever upgrades I put into it, until, unless it's like end game, I really don't, you're going to find something to replace it soon enough anyways. Um, that's something that I've always kind of been a little like, I don't, I don't know why <laughs> it's, it's fine if you really like something, but since the visual aspects are kind of not a, not a problem in this game because you can adopt the look of anything that you own, um, upgrading your stuff, maybe for like a one time, but then again, I was going to say maybe for like a one time boss fight or something, but then you still have to go through the hassle of coming back to the, the room of requirement um to make those changes so it's uh i don't know it's not something that i'm gonna participate in probably not something i'm gonna do it's again it's i think it's it's interesting well flushed out there's a lot of uh you know a lot of time and effort has gone into implementing it and i think it's it's cool but not uh not not practical for for how i at least how i approach games it also does look like another place to customize though you can probably do some do some fun stuff in there so we'll see we will take this. We had eight main story quests. So is that like, are we like halfway through? Eight, 14, 18, 20. Yeah, we're like, a, looks like maybe two thirds of the way through the game. If, if I mean, unless this, unless there's more than 14 quests. I don't know. We'll see. Read your gear, rescue beasts. Don't know what that is. Uh, okay, so our last main story quest, meet Sebastian in the Feldcroft. We'll go ahead and activate that one, but we're going to go ahead and call it an episode right here. So thank you guys for joining me for part 20 of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I, you know, it's, it's, we just talked about like, oh, 14 quests is the last challenge that I have to do. A 14 main quest that is, oh, geez. Oh, stick drift. Don't do it. Um, but yet we're still being, having so many things introduced to us as players. Like there's still, you know, this Vivarium. We just unlocked that. We're 20 hours in. I don't know if that's true or not. Well, yeah, it must be true because we have hour long episodes. Thereabouts anyways. So, um, it's, it's an interesting progression how, how, how we're pushing through the game, but we're going to keep going. We'll be back for part 21 before long. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.